I've looked in Daytona Beach, about 50 miles north and east of Orlando. Uh, famous spot, Daytona Speedway, huge uh, spring break and otherwise destination. The Space Coast, uh, not far from there, evacuations already underway. Michael Chitwood is the Daytona Beach police chief. You know, we, you get a lot of flack, you know, as news people and police chiefs for telling people they got to leave and then their houses don't blow over and they're mad at you. Not nearly as mad as they'll be at you if they're dead. Uh, that's correct, Shepard. We have been preaching and preaching to get out, get out now. The window on the opportunity to get out is closing. Uh, we were on patrol up here within the last hour, and I had a mother outside with two young children, and she said to me, I'm going to ride it out, Chief. Everything's going to be okay. And, and I was like, are you crazy? And we're going to go back every hour on the hour until we convince her she's got to get off of the peninsula. This isn't anything to play with. This is devastating. People are going to lose lives. There's a catastrophe waiting to happen here. Now, you know, I, I talked to some a, a number of police officers in South Mississippi, past Christiane, Mississippi, after it was over, and they talk about going home to home of people they knew, and they break in the house, and they search the house, and most often they put an X on the door saying nobody's in there, but, you know, every 15th house they walk in, and, and the old lady from the store is dead in there. You know, and, and how hard that is for, for law enforcement officials who, who, are, who are made to save lives. Instead, they're carrying corpses out. And, and that's what we're trying to do. We're preaching get out and get out now. There's going to be a loss of power. You're going to lose your cell phone. You're going to be uh, lose your Internet connection. There's going to be severe flooding with the storm surge. And, and, and a lot of people aren't understanding that. When you're out here on A1A today, a lot of people get it. But as I drive by the oceanfront condos, I drive into the community, there's a lot of people's cars are still in their driveway. They're out in their yard doing yard work, and they're like, yeah, Chief, we're, we're still debating. There is no debate. The time for debate is over. At 6 p.m. tonight or a little thereafter, we're going to start shutting down the bridges east side and preventing people from coming up on the peninsula. And, and I just hope to God that people get it. And, and make a beeline and get out of here. It's a paradise until it isn't, and, and it just, it's just not for the next few days. You guys got a plan to keep all your guys safe? We do. Uh, starting tonight at 6 o'clock, it's all hands on deck. All 250 officers will be in. We'll be here for the duration. We have put up uh, stops for their families. They could bring their family into a secure location. Uh, all employees have that option so that they don't have to worry about it. And the officers are going to be well fed and taken care of. There will become a time tonight, though, Shepard, when the winds pick up that we will not be able to respond. And, and it's going to be too late for the residents who have decided to stay. And then they try to call 911. And guess what? We won't be able to get there. We cannot stress that enough. There will be a time tonight when we won't be able to get there to help. We thank you, Chief, for all you do. I know Floridians do from coast to coast. And we'll be right back.